In 1999, the U.S. reported that America would remain the single largest determinant of future knowledge as it remained in the 20th century in applying the yesterday science fiction technologies like animal cloning, talking electronic road maps, and powerful computers as small as a pack of cigarettes. Rereading that report today, the elephant in the room it missed was China. In the future envisioned by the conventional wisdom of the era, China hardly mattered. However, by 2010, this picture was beginning to change. China had grown into a low-cost manufacturing site for multinational companies. Today, China's rapid rise to challenge U.S. dominance of technologies commanding heights has captured America's attention. According to statistics, China's overall scientific and technological strength currently ranks second in the world, but there is still a big gap between the first, that is, the United States. Moreover, compared with Europe and Japan, which are behind, China's advantages are also not obvious. How big is the gap in technological strength between China and the US? In what ways? How long will it take for China to surpass the United States? Hi! Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. As for today's video, we are going to objectively analyze the technological gap between China and the United States, affirm the progress China has made, face up to the existing problems of China, and provide further suggestions for China's technological development. The rivalry in technology is main arena for competition with China as said by the former director of CIA. So far, China has displaced the US as the world's top high-tech manufacturer, producing 250 million computers, 25 million automobiles, and 1.5 billion smartphones in 2020. Beyond becoming a manufacturing powerhouse, China has become a serious competitor in the foundational technologies of the 21st century including artificial intelligence, 5G, quantum information science, semiconductors, biotechnology, and green energy. In some races, it has already become number one. In others, on current trajectories, it will overtake the US within the next decade. One of America's most respected leaders in advancing and applying technology, Eric Schmidt, who led Google to become one of the world's leading technology companies, has said that many Americans still have an outdated vision of China. In his assessment, unless these trends change, in the 2030s USA will be competing with a country that has a bigger economy, more research and development investments, better research, wider deployment of new technologies, and stronger computing infrastructure. What's more, former Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives Newt Gingrich, a Republican, once published an article commenting on China and U.S. infrastructure. He stated that in terms of infrastructure, China's progress is in big contrast to America's paralysis, and the gap is still growing. Gingrich said he is very concerned about a phenomenon, China's infrastructure is developing rapidly, but the United States is still debating whether to expand infrastructure. In the face of opponents, Gingrich offered a plan, American politicians, interest groups, lobbyists, trade unions, and all other interested parties should take a ride on China's high-speed rail to experience the comfort, cleanliness, convenience and service. Then take the express train in the United States and compare the gap between the two sides. This gap is much larger than expected. The fastest train in the United States is the Asura Express, with a maximum speed of 240 km per hour, but the actual speed is only over 100 km per hour, while the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway in China can operate at a maximum speed of 486.1 km per hour. The two are not comparable at all. As we all know, science and technology are the primary productive forces and the key to national strength. Throughout the history of modern science and technology and economic history, from the 16th to the 18th century, Britain first became the world science and technology centre with Newton's classical mechanics theory and Watt's invention of the steam engine. With the foundation of quantum mechanics, Germany became the number one scientific and technological power in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Before and after World War II, Einstein immigrated to the United States, the world's first atomic bomb exploded in the United States in 1945, and the Shockley Research Group of Bell Labs successfully developed Transistor, the United States replaced Germany as the world's technology center and remains to this day. 
From the Sun Never Set Empire to the hegemony of the US, from the mechanical revolution to the information revolution, two scientific revolutions, three technological and industrial revolutions, whether Britain, France, Germany, Japan, or the United States, all rely on grasping a certain key industrial technology. They have successfully risen due to revolutionary opportunities, and eventually became the world's technological and economic center and a major player in the global economic and military hegemony. As a rising star, how is China doing in terms of technology? Let's first look at a set of data. Firstly, China's R&D expenditure has grown rapidly, accounting for 2.4% of GDP, reaching the level of moderately developed countries. China's research and experimental development expenditure in 2020 is 2,442.6 billion yuan, an increase of 10.3% over the previous year. In 2013, the total amount of R&D expenditure surpassed that of Japan, becoming the second largest R&D spending country in the world. Secondly, China is the number one in the world in patent approvals. According to the World Intellectual Property Organization data, there were 1.5 million patent approvals worldwide in 2019, of which China accounted for the highest proportion, accounting for 30.1% of the global proportion, higher than 23.6%, 12%, 8.4% and 16% in the United States, Japan, South Korea and Europe. In terms of science and technology, China indeed has made excellent achievements in the last few years. However, compared with the United States, there are still quality and structural problems. For example, the number of Chinese R&D personnel per million people is only one-third of that in the United States. China has 1,307 R&D and technical personnel per million population, compared with 4,412 in the United States. Besides, China's basic scientific research is weak, and the investment in basic research is only a quarter of that in the United States. A large amount of Chinese investment is still in the experimental development stage, and the proportion of basic research and applied research is 20 percentage points lower than that of the United States. The number of papers published exceeds that of the United States, but there is a gap between the quality and the United States. Overall, China's R&D spending has grown rapidly, but there are still qualitative and structural problems compared with the United States. In short, China's progress and the gap between China and the United States are only superficial phenomena and results. The essence is the competition of technology, education, and talents, and the underlying reason is institutional reform. Therefore, it is necessary to further promote reform and opening up, stimulate the vitality and enthusiasm of market entities, promote the improvement of total factor productivity, and achieve high-quality development. All in all, whether China's scientific and technological strength can surpass the United States in the next 20 years, I think the key is to continue to promote reforms in all aspects, including but not limited to the scientific research system, the professional title evaluation system, etc., as well as the country's increased support for popular science. After all, scientific research is like sailing against the current, if you don't advance, you will retreat immediately. Well, how do you think about it? How long do you think it will take for China to surpass the United States? In this technology war, do you prefer China or the United States? Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. See you.